Hello, um, yeah, good morning. Uh, my name is Paul, Paul Bianti. I'm a French painter. I'm, uh, I used to travel a lot. I'm also a, a traveller. Uh, I used to live in London. I used to travel a lot um, in, my, uh, in my youth. And um, uh, London and also uh, in Egypt. And now, uh, welcome in Ghent, Ghent in Belgium. Um, then uh, I paint for the last um, uh, elf, um, yeah, 11 years. I used to be a photograph, not as professional, but I used to travel and to take pictures uh, and, get, and, and then uh, get also exhibitions um, in, uh, in France, in France, in my country. Uh, welcome to my house. Then we're going to jump straight here. Welcome to my house, welcome to my, um, my squat. Welcome to, to my, um, yeah, how can I say, welcome in my stomach, because it's really, in French, a visceral, something visceral is, um, is a, as, yeah, a second nature for me. Uh, welcome to my, how, how can I say, yeah, my emptiness, and my full time. Uh, I, I would like to present to you my work and my life, because I paint my surrounding, it's really important. Uh, as um, as a, 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 an instant of an instant and uh, a moment for my life and then I go away to uh, to get another horizon. Uh, then we're going to um, yeah we're going to um, I'm going to, to walk with you eh? and um, to present uh, a bit of what happened uh, on walls and what happened uh, um, yeah on my on my, my walk and my canvas. Uh, I use olive oil and uh, I'm also a pigment, um, a pigment marker. I used to work with, um, with uh, a pigment mister when I was uh, living in London. I used to live in London seven years uh, in, um, in the neighborhood of uh, Portobello and uh, Notting Hill with a really, really uh, high life and um, yeah, that was really different. But difference for me is contradiction and contradiction is really important in my life. Otherwise, you're going to be really contradictory. <laughs> Yes, I understand myself. Then you can uh, maybe you have to follow me and to get uh, a bit of. Um, uh, I can paint also on walls, and because I found this place um, total um, empty. But for me, emptiness is perfect because if you want to fool something, you have to first to empty it, and then you can fill it with something else. Not for not from what the society imposes to you every day, but filling with yourself. Feeling with you inside, that's why I'm a painter. I don't listen. When I get up in the morning, I put my finger middle of my desires, and this is just the great symbol of my freedom. It's really important. Um, voilà, so now this year I try to get, for example, some, some series of portraits. And I work with um, models or, or, yeah, or some with my imagination, which is really different. But for me, is this interaction is really important to get uh, uh, diversity and energy in my in my construct. So there is no rules. My rules is just my life, and that comes that comes really really spontaneously and uh, full van uh, van energy. Voilà, this is the basis of my of my work. Uh, we can uh, have different uh, rooms. So this is the the rooms where I work with my models. Uh, and uh, another one is also with making uh, yeah, maybe a big walk that I have. And I have also here, um, I try to organize this weekend a really um, an exhibition. So um, people come and, uh, to see my work and to look at my, uh, my paintings. Uh, so maybe we can, uh, we can go ahead. And this little uh, corridor. Uh, uh, for example, I have a, I have piece of um, a piece of work here uh, for the time when I was living in in, uh, in Egypt. So Egypt was really relevant. Egypt was a, a really really human um, human um, relevant uh, moment for me because uh, it was really hard. I've been arrested uh, through ignorance. I forgive ignorant people, but I don't forgive intellectual who can be really really who give me a difficult time because. They are intellectual, but ignorance, we have to forgive it, so forgiveness. <laughs> and I was living in a neighborhood um, where, which was really violent also. 
Uh, I used to say, yeah, I used to stay in Egypt uh, two years, two years of my life through the revolution in uh, 2011. So you have, you have here, you have here a piece of my uh, my painting, a self-portrait, for example, uh, that I used to to go there with pigment, uh, pigment from the ground, also from uh, some piece of chunks that I found in the desert, with natural pigment. And uh, which is, which was really sandy. The texture was really sandy and really interesting. Uh, kind of primitive, primitive, um, primitive, yeah, primitive technique for me. Uh, I use ink also. Uh, this one, for example, that I used to um, I used to paint in a in a mosque in um, in Cairo. So another room, the second room. Now the second room is um, is over uh, about my new work. Uh, but uh, yeah, I paint uh, instantly my life, and then observation is really important for me. Uh, sometimes can be compulsive, can be really um, uh, passionate for my uh, my intimate life and my relationship. But uh, the important for me is to to get it to get it uh, straight. So emotions, um, uh, yeah, instead of my love, but observation from my house, from my balcony, my balcony, from street, from uh, yeah, I look all the time. I look, um, I look at the people. Voilà. So I got also a lot of problems for this, but a lot of really, really good moments uh, in um, in uh, in several countries. Uh, voilà, that is uh, one of my uh, my model uh, here. Uh, interesting work, really, really big work, uh, three meter high, uh, with uh, pigment, natural pigment, and uh, olive oil. Also, uh, yeah, uh, well, I see how, yeah, this is this is the way this is the way I um, I paint. Uh, for example, the, the two um, um, one that you see here, gaping one. Uh, that that is neat. Uh, that is neat for me. I don't, I don't want to paint this, but finally at its hand, at its hand, I can see this. So I paint it because just uh, I go backwards and uh, I look at my paintings and I say, well, I see something else. I see, for example, um, a bit of more red, and uh, and I can make him develop this. But that was neat. Uh, that was neat. Uh, the the meaning, the meaning of to paint. Uh, to um, to um, yeah to one that was the, that was not the meaning uh, so it's really uh, spontaneous and it's really important for me I don't believe in thought for example I believe just of um, this instant when I paint and I can change my life and I can change my work but I'm really really authentic with myself voilà. I said it or I don't say it it's not very important the the most important for me is to get it right and to get it profound and intense in my work. So authentic and honestly with myself, just with myself. Uh, another series here for five paintings from the train station. Uh, yeah, so it's uh, it's quite uh, it's quite relevant uh, for my uh, life in Ghent because it's a storytelling through um, yeah through a lot of um, um, uh, meeting and. Um, uh, passionate, uh, passionate um, yeah, moment uh, in Ghent that I live with uh, with uh, with people. Yeah? Uh, this is the, the train station Saint Peter's here uh, with the valves. With uh, so it's really um, 
Yeah, for me, it's quite expressive and and uh, that describe also really, really uh, small moment for my life. It's really important because I go away every time, every five years or every seven years, I just go away and to see and to go to another land. So it's really important to, uh, to get printed, moment from my life. I get it printed in, and I leave, I leave, I leave my walk, I leave my painting and all my life, my belonging, where I live, and then I go away with just it's just um, yeah, a, a, a baggage, a luggage, and uh, to, uh, to write and to paint another life in another way, in another country, with another culture, with other people, uh, with another language. So I reborn every time, every five years, or every seven years, I reborn every time in another country. For me, that is not just um, art, it's also freedom. The great, great definition for my life and for freedom. Freedom is my important. Uh, another walk here, a combination from uh, lines and perspective and uh, figurative work also. Uh, yeah, that I try may maybe to um, uh, to avoid or to uh, in an abstract way. Uh, yeah, that was also a series. Uh, I make a series from the train station, for example. I made uh, five paintings, uh, and that was uh, yeah. I'm really happy for the for this um, for the, the, the result from this. Um, this is mere mere abstract. Uh, self-portrait, me self-portrait, portrait for my friend, for people that I met, for people really, really important who try to help me and to understand uh, what, what uh, I was living, but also it's vice versa. Eh? It's also um, a teamwork. So, uh, for example, in this house, uh, I live alone because it's really important. I'm here to paint. I'm not here to, uh, to, to mess up or to get trouble with, uh, with the owner. Which, which is now really, really um, stable and important. But uh, squatting for me is not uh, to mess up, it's just to, be, um, to paint and to find a room. We all have to find time to paint, it's really important. But it's more easy to go to the society and to listen for the society imposed to us every day. But if you walk for the society, you don't paint. So it's all about how far you will go to get it to get your art and to get time to paint it? It's a big question. It's not impossible because I'm here to prove it. Uh, portraits from a uh, um, yeah, model Hilde. Dan Hilde, this is forever, for example. Or this portrait from my friend uh, Arnie. He's an, um, an art student from, uh, from St. Uh, uh, Kask in Ghent. And we met each other uh, five years ago. Here in this house, he was my neighbor, 
he made also a movie about my uh, about my love here, but he made also a movie about himself, about his work. That is his work, his creative work. So we used to work together, but that was very spontaneous. That was neat. Like, yeah, we're going to work together. I don't believe in this. We're going. We have a project. We're going to work together. No, no. It's more than this. The basis from this is friendship. Friendship and really, really, really good moment. Uh, and work moment, but also uh, just a friendly moment that, uh, that we used to live in this house and uh, that we used to occupy it. Uh, thus, and the uh, result is, um, is just uh, art and creativity. Voilà. And film, now another one with my friend Svens. <laughs> and, uh, and then I fill up this room with colors, I fill up this room with, uh, with people because I live alone but I'll never be alone. Uh, and I fill up this room with my with my thoughts and with all my life and my my yeah my uh, my mes défis hein, in the France. Uh, painting, um, drawings, matte ink. Uh, I don't use I don't use um, I don't use um, gum or I don't use a uh, rub rub huh? or I don't use uh, also a pencil. Because I have to, to get a perspective. What is a perspective? Is a perspective that I not just from the reality, but perspective that I want to represent. So it belongs to me. It belongs to my emotion. It belongs to the moment. And I have to trust myself with years and years and years of um, experience. Not just years of painting, but years of experience as a as a as a man and as a person, as a person who lives in in this world. I just have to trust myself and to get it right. So no gum, no pencil, it doesn't matter, ink, and then I get, I get something. I get more a route, a drawing route, than a destination, for example. That's also the meaning of my traveling. I go sometimes just have a contact and I go somewhere else and I don't know where, what I'm going to live there. But uh, what I see and what I want to know, it's, it's just... The, the, the progression of it is really important. For example, if I, if I stop here on the floor, I progress, I wander, I, I walk. I don't know where I'm going, but I walk. It's a progression, it's really dynamic. And my walk is the same. So, uh, for example, of this walk, it's really yeah, surrealist, symbolic, uh, dreams uh, flow sometimes uh, Compulsive um, um, action and really intim, uh, intim uh, relationship with people that I met here, with my muse, with my uh, my girlfriends, or yeah, all all people, uh, good people, but also um, yeah, a bit sure, yeah, a bit from um, from um, yeah, on, on everything. So you can see here my house and uh, also a bit of uh, um, Flemish architecture. Uh, the drawing was made just only with ink, only with ink, and straight. So I have a basis, a basis from colors. I have basis from um, from uh, just an ID, and um, and then I get it in three weeks every day, eight uh, out, yeah, eight eight hours per day, and I get something. But uh, finally, at the end, I don't want to get this. I want to get just a representation of, of what I feel, but there is no rules. There is just, in the moment, some uh, through my, yeah, I got tired, eh? I, eight, eight hours per day, so I got tired through doing three weeks. And, um, and I've got, um, yeah, I've got, a, I've got not a destination, but I've got a route, I've got a route. And I step back and I see what you see now, I see, I see a really colorful and expressive um, uh, paintings. I use acrylic and uh, colored ink, and a special medium also. I'm making a dessert here, which is maybe a reminder from uh, from Egypt. Uh, voilà, and, and a piece here from uh, from the uh, Les Fleurs du Mal from. Uh, Charles Baudelaire, uh, that I used to read, and all of my poems, uh, I have to write to paint, I have to paint to write, it's really complex sometimes, I have to think a lot. Uh, drawings here, uh, yeah, from people, from my house, which is really important, because I found a house, eh? but I dare also to break a door, yeah, 
uh, yeah, it's a squat. It's legal. Eh? Eh? I'm not a thief. I'm not a thief, but it's legal. Eh? But uh, I dare also to break a door, not to mess up, as I used to say, but for creativity, to occupy a space to create. And five years later, I'm here in front of you, people looking at me and listen to me, I hope, uh, to say that, yeah, I fill up with, with, with art. And that is the key of, of all artists. We have to dare something because we don't have to listen. <laughs> yeah, it's very important. We don't have to listen. No way. Series, series of paintings, series of drawings, series of uh, a painting of uh, yeah, uh, met uh, with uh, papier, uh, then ecoline uh, ink uh, colored, and hook, um, and also uh, acrylic. So you have here another representation for my third third uh, painting that I call uh, in in Flemish Afgrond. Afgrond is an abyss. And, um, and hall, an abyss. Uh, an abyss for me is also a sort of, uh, yeah, this is a representation of nothing, of emptiness. And I have, I can create everything in, in something empty. If you look around, that was, that was, that was empty. That was total empty and chaotic. But uh, I get in a sort of a contradiction of myself. Um, uh, through chaos and um, I get creativity so I fill um, an empty, uh, empty room with, with a lot of things and with, uh, with my life and with my art so we have an also here another representation the third representation from this uh, Afgulon, eh, the Abyss uh, from, uh, from last, uh, last summer With a lot of writing, a lot of uh, compulsive uh, moments, yeah, I repeat myself, but it's very important because um, I get, I got sometimes uh, tiredness, but also um, um, anxiety for what the people, uh, for the interaction with uh, my my communication with um, with um, with people, and uh, that is really intense for me and. Uh, if I look at this um, total um, emptiness of myself, of violent um, um, behavior of myself and, uh, and from, from, from people around me, from my surrounding, uh, yeah, I can create this. So, uh, is, that, is that pain? Yeah, it's panic. Yeah, it's really painful. It's really painful sometimes, but I can use a pain for an expression of my positivity. So if you ask me, for example, yeah, do, do you have um, uh, sometimes, uh, yeah, I have um, crisis or melancholic crisis, and it's painful, but I use it. I'm not, I'm not scared of it. I have enough experience in my life to say, yeah, it's painful, I suffer, but I use it. I just use it. I use it as an expression of the positive. Henry Moore, the, the, the British sculptor in the, in the 60s, used to say, one does the opposite, an expression of the positive. I believe in this. I believe that we, the society convince you that you don't have, you don't have at all to, to suffer. Because it's not good. You have to be happy, 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 happiness through consummation, for a lot of things, a lot of bullshit, sorry. But, uh, but I, we, we can use this. You can use your suffering as, as an, an expression of your positivity. And you have, for me, eh, that is my definition of my art and of my life, I use this.
Yeah, uh, drawings uh, uh, with uh, two corners from uh, each uh, rooms, uh, matte ink uh, with no pencil, a moment of life, moment, uh, yeah, my neighbors, for example. I paint my surrounding, I draw my surrounding. It's very simple. There is no political religion in my, in, in, my, in, my, in my art. I paint my surrounding, I paint a moment of time, an instant of time, and I go away and I leave my work in this land. So it's really important to get this because one day this room, beautiful um, emptiness that I feel uh, is going to be, yeah, is going to be destroyed, maybe. And I have to retain this. I have to retain this. I'm, um, yeah, I'm a witness of this. I was a witness of this. I'm still a witness of this. And I have to retain this. It's a self-respect, but also respect for people that I met in Ghent, in Belgium, or in London 10 years ago, or in, in Egypt. Uh, it's just respect through a life story for my, my art. That is the point for my 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 paintings. Uh, yeah, a uh, right, demonstration. Well, for me, it's uh, it's too official. <laughs> <laughs> if I said, if I said, I'm going to make pigment, I'm going to show you how to make pigment. But finally, well, I'm self taught so no uh, theory. Theory is one more time myself, my finally emotions as a man and as an artist. So I didn't learn, but I learned for myself. But a, 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 a point really important in art is observation and you're not going to learn this in any art school it's yourself it's just yourself and you make it uh, things out of yourself it's really important it's really visceral j'aime ce mot uh, yeah i met uh, i met a lot of people when i was living in london uh, they did show me uh, they did show me okay but finally uh, at the end um, i realized that uh, i make pigment um, uh, yeah, uh, through time and through a lot of um, um, different, uh, um, different, uh, different medium or different texture. When I was living in Egypt, but for example, eh, I used the sand. I used uh, sand colored uh, with a natural, natural uh, pigment from the desert, from street that I saw. Uh, so uh, that is it. Uh, voilà, that is ochre, ochre jaune, l'ochre de Roussillon, that we built. Eh? And um, I just mix, mix it with oil. So you can get different texture. You can get also opacity or transparency. But I'm just, I'm just a human. So I don't believe in thought, but I believe just of uh, something that I make every day, not really regular. Why it has to be regular? I don't understand this. Why it has to be um, a constant regularity? Uh, I make maybe 
uh, with the same color, with the same pigment every day, maybe a different pigment every day. And that is the, the, yeah, that is the meaning. So I use uh, pure yeah, um, um, oil, huile de lin, huh? uh, linen oil, here, for example, I have here a bit more. And, uh, and I have just to mix it. Uh, when I was, um, when I met this, um, this uh, man in London, I would like to mention his name because uh, he helped me a lot to show me colors and um, uh, his name was uh, Is, eh? he hope eh? everything is okay. Pip Seymour, Pip Seymour in London. And I made these guys one day, I sent to him um, an email and I said to him, well, look, you know, I just, uh, I try to paint. <laughs> and um, yeah, I think I would love to, um, to create my own paintings, my own uh, pigment. And he said, well, no problems, you know, but I have, I have no money, no problem. You know, they're really idealistic. Eh? Uh, you don't have money, but uh, you have uh, envy and you have energy. I see this. So come to me. And I went to this atelier outside London and uh, uh, I had um, up, the, up the table, I had, um, I had a, lot of, um, a lot of different pigments that I used to ask for my email. Uh, 20, 20, sort, 20 different sorts of, um, of pigment. And then I spent a lot of time with him. I spent, uh, yeah, the first time was a, a day, a full day, to, um, to talk and to say that, yeah, I wanted to, um, to make my own pigment. And then uh, to avoid cracks, sometimes we have also, so I use, um, I have to ground it, but sometimes I don't ground it. Sometimes I, I because if you ground it, you're going, you're going to be too liqu liquefied here. A bit and now it becomes uh, a bit more um, shiny voila but I can stop here also eh? well I'm an expression yeah I'm a, a very expressive painter I don't do I'm not into realistic or fine uh, fine uh, I can I, I can do this but uh, this is not for my uh, my habit I'm not gonna say my style because I don't like it my habit or my emotion I'm not really so I do this, and now it's really it's a bit more 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 clean, more fine. I can get it thicker if I want, or if I don't want, <laughs> I'm free. So through years, I get uh, yeah, I, I use uh, opacity of transparency sometimes, sometimes. Pigments in my work, they are shiny, sometimes not, it's really brut, it's really, um, yeah, and uh, I got sometimes really, really different, uh, different uh, pieces of my work, uh, which is uh, with the, the superposition of colors, it's really different, and it's because of my hand, it's not because of a technique, it's because of my hand, and that make, that make it really, really original. I can use wax for stability. To avoid crack, well, what is a crack? I don't know. It's been maybe a crack is a bad painting. I don't know it, but uh, well, I use then a bit of wax uh, here that I make that I make myself for a bit of um, stability. Yeah. So, voila, and then. Um, Around it. I used to work in London with the same palette, with uh, six or seven colors, uh, for uh, seven of, or, or uh, eight years, my years in London. And now, uh, if you get, you can a bit. So this man taught me how to do it, and he say and he say to me because I'm a, I'm a, I'm an I'm a, a old um, a old um, a chef. I used to make a, a yeah um, in my life. I used to uh, travel a lot, and I was a baker. I was uh, I was also a pastry chef. I was a chef, so I used to cook a lot for the last for 15 or 18 years because I wanted to travel. 
maybe I wanted to travel, that was an alibi, more than I wanted to work. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, I spent uh, 18 years of my life in a um, in kitchen. And Pip Simo say to me, you have a natural way of pig, natural pigment because I see that uh, you are a chef and you are a pastry chef. So when, you, when I make mayonnaise, for example, I use oil and I use water, water from uh, the mustard or water from eggs. Hmm? And water and oil is an emulsion. So you have cold emulsion and hot emulsion. And for me it's the same, it's just the same. So I'm not really, yeah, he told me this. Voila. And you have this, this kind of, uh, you can get more opacity or transparency, but it's, for, it's not for me. With, uh, with this, um, this sort of on a white powder. And uh, yeah. Voila. Uh, yeah, I use also um, um, a different texture, and this is, for example, bricks that I found in, um, in a workplace from uh, uh, workers from the street, and they were making um, a building. And I've been there, and I noticed observation, eh? observation. I noticed that uh, the workers, it was raining, and the workers was um, um, uh, stepping, stepping, and stepping, walking and walking all the day. Uh, up, uh, off with bricks, they were walking with bricks eh? on a wall, on a house, to a building to, 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 to do. Uh, and and uh, I noticed that uh, with the rain, with water, they were making a sort of um, a mud. And at, at, at the end, I went there to ask uh, if, I, if I could just um, uh, yeah, get it back. And uh, yeah, they, they were looking at me as an. Uh, as in, as really, really something different, someone different, but uh, I used to. And, uh, and then I get it dry in my house with the sun. And now I have a powder and uh, I mix it sometimes with, um, for example, with, um, um, with colors, with uh, vermillon, root vermillon. And uh, that's really good. I like it. Uh, this is exactly what I did when I was living in Egypt, from the desert, from street. Observation. I saw something that people didn't see because they don't have time. You know, people, they have to work, they have to get money, they have to, uh, they have to listen. And I don't listen because I'm an artist. So I listen what I paint, I listen what I want to, what I want to be in my life, eh? more free than uh, a slave. Uh, so uh, I stopped in a moment in my life in Egypt, in a street, and I saw a uh, really, really piece of uh, stone, colored, purple, orange, red, from the desert, burn, burn, burn into the sun. And that was a revelation for me. And I developed this technique with the help of my friend, Pip Seymour, who used to, taught, to, teach, to teach me, to show me. And I developed my own technique uh, from Egypt and here. It's not really, um, it's not really a secret, eh? it's, uh, but, but the secret is, is what I saw. And I saw it in the street. I saw something that people didn't see. Voilà.